In Ethiopia, everyone has been affected by Abiy Ahmed's policies over the last six years. There is widespread despair and hopelessness about the nation's future under the leadership of Abiy Ahmed and the Oromo Prosperity Party. The country is struggling with skyrocketing inflation, civil wars, ethnic conflicts, displacement, food insecurity, lawlessness, ethnic cleansing, corruption, extrajudicial killings, atrocities, and targeted attacks on the Orthodox Christian and Amhara communities. Ethiopian Americans, who deeply empathize with the pain and suffering of Ethiopians, you hold the power to enact change. To play a pivotal role in shaping a brighter future, it is essential to participate in the upcoming US presidential, congressional, and Senate elections. Your vote carries significant weight and can tip the scales in tight races and swing states. In battleground states like Georgia, Arizona, Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, Florida, Iowa, North Carolina, Texas, Nevada, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, your voice truly matters. In 2020 the presidential election, Joe Biden clinched victory by slim margins with just 44,000 votes collectively determining the outcome across three critical states, Wisconsin, Arizona, and Georgia. Specifically, Wisconsin's margin stood at 20,000 votes, Arizona by 10,000 votes, and Georgia by 12,000 votes. Each vote counts. Remember, in November, casting your ballot for the president is just one part of the equation. The Senate and congressional elections are equally important. Every vote holds the power to influence policies that can alleviate the suffering of our people in Ethiopia and bring about positive change. Like Cuban and Jewish Americans, Ethiopian Americans must organize with a focus on registering voters and presenting a clear and defined demands to presidential, Senate and congressional candidates. Make yourselves known through the media. Candidates, for the sake of their own interests, will reach out to you one problem in our community is making generalized statements about candidates, assuming they will not support Ethiopian causes. If you organize and make yourselves known, they will respond. Generally speaking, the Republican Party is influenced by prosperity gospel proponents, and Abiy Ahmed has their support, as seen from 2018 to 2020. On the other hand, the Democrats are more aligned with the TPLF and OLF, separatist armed groups fighting Abiy Ahmed for power and resources. However, instead of generalizing and deciding not to vote, remember that not every candidate should be judged solely by their party affiliation. Each one is different, politics is local, and that is why you need to organize and present your case to them. Engage with candidates and convey that their support for Ethiopian causes, aimed at ending the pain and suffering of our people, will earn your vote. Organizing and voting as a community not only amplifies our collective voice, but also garners attention from the media and candidates alike. This visibility ensures that both winning and losing parties recognize the significance of the Ethiopian American vote. As a result, in future elections, they are more likely to listen to our concerns and prioritize our needs. Regardless of the circumstances, it's crucial to remember the paramount importance of exercising your right to vote. If candidates from either party are not willing to put pressure Abbey's OPP government, consider voting for third party candidates like Jill Stein and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Ethiopian Americans, this is your moment. Get organized, register to vote, and make yourselves known. Stand with your people. This is your time to make an impact. We will keep you informed about key candidates in the battleground states and whom to vote for. Stay tuned.